Welcome back to Nationwide Arena. Uh, Tom Reed, Aaron Portsline. Uh, Aaron, if uh, Frank Costanza was a Blue Jackets fan on Festivus, what would what grievances would he have to air right now? God, he would love Tortorella. <laughs> well, yeah, he could come up Wouldn't with Wouldn't he? I don't think he could find a beef. I mean, no, I don't think he could find a beef. It would be the airing of pleasantries. Yeah, I just had to call my... Uh, Call a change into my game story. I I I, I was still stuck on eleven wins, yeah, not twelve. These are strange days, people. Uh, it wasn't the best uh, performance in the Blue Jackets winning streak, but very workmanlike got it done. Two to one over the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, the numbers are just unbelievable. Staggering. Just just give us a little rundown about your story tomorrow. And well, I I just I got four. Just we're talking about our stories here. I got four paragraphs in before. I realized you're like you're nitpicking, you're like nitpicking a 12-game winning streak here. Geez, they didn't play very good in the third period. They won 12 in a row. Did they? You they ran out of gas in the third period. Oh, without question. Did was it the fact sometimes the most tired you are is when you can see the finish line for the first time? Uh, did they, as Tortorella suggested, think Montreal was ready to pack it in and go home? Uh, I mean, what, did they empty their tanks, their emotional tanks, I think so last that, night against yeah, Pittsburgh? I think, I think all of that comes into play. Yeah. And yet, these guys, they still figure out a way to come out of here against a team that would have loved to beat them after they were humiliated here 10 to nothing, yeah. just a month or so ago, to get out of here with a 2-1 to one victory. They turned it over to Sergei Bobrovsky yes. tonight. He was fantastic. And here's, here are the Blue Jackets. 12 games in a row they've won, a 14-game point streak. They've gone from Thanksgiving to Christmas without losing a game in regulation, which I think is Extraordinary. maybe the most amazing of all these yeah. things. If you think of that span of time, uh, they are first in the National Hockey League, first in the Eastern Conference, the Metro, and wow. I mean, here they hit Christmas in, in better shape than they've ever been and in better shape than anybody could have imagined. Lead the league uh, coming into the night. Led the leg in goals against average, uh, uh, scoring wise. Uh, led scoring the league in scoring. Yep. Second in in goals against. That m that might change a little bit tonight. Um, uh, but just uh, there's there's just no stat you can look at in this in this winning streak. I, I was counting up tonight. Other than the first game, which was a five to three win in Tampa, they have given up more than two goals once in this whole span, and that was that crazy four to three game the other night where pucks were bouncing in up in, in Vancouver. Right. They just they just don't give up a whole lot. And that, that I think that that is the part that that is easy to to gloss over when they're not playing well this year. They're giving up a goal, or they're not giving up a goal. They're not giving up three goals. They're not giving up four goals in a 20-second span. Like t this year, this game last year, you know, it's two to nothing heading into the third, and they spend the, the first 15 minutes in their own zone. Like they could knock it out of their own zone. In years past, that's 2-2, two -two, and maybe they take it to overtime, or maybe they lose 3-2 to -two in, in regulation. They have really found a way to mitigate the disaster and keep it from, from resulting in goals against, or at least a flurry of goals against. And that's really sustained them for long stretches this season. Yeah, and, and it, again, to kind of dovetail off that, there are teams in this league, and I, and I think of the New York Rangers as one of these teams, that they can be, if they're on their game, and they can play a certain way, they can beat you. Yeah. These guys are one of these teams that can beat you a couple different ways. You know, they, they can have those nights like last night where they just put on a flurry of goals yeah. over the second half of the game win. And then they can come back tonight and just kind of grind one, grind a victory yeah. out with two goals early and just hanging on at the end. Yeah. And yeah, again, uh, tonight was, was a Bobrovsky night. There yeah. haven't been a ton of Bobrovsky no. nights. No. Not to say that he hasn't played well, he's played exceptionally well. Yeah. But they haven't turned it over to him a lot of nights like, here, Bob, take this. And you think of the, the saves, the toe. Save well, right toe on Paul Byron, the left toe oh, save on, on Gallagher. Yeah, uh, the groins look pretty good, by the way. Yeah, um, he he was spectacular tonight, um, and in and, and a game that that maybe for the second time in two games, and I wouldn't say they deserved second time in three games. I wouldn't say they deserved to lose, but you wouldn't have felt like the gods were against them if they had lost to the Kings or if they would lost in this game, and yet here they are with twelve straight. Wins heading into the Christmas break. Yeah, uh, they get a couple days off, and one team, well, there's maybe two teams, and they, the, the second team in San Jose, they won't face again. Not until the Stanley Cup Finals. 
<laughs> Go ahead. All right. <laughs> the uh, the Boston Bruins. Yes. Uh, uh, do uh, do come into town. Yep. They got uh, their number to complete this uh, home stand. And uh, they're a team that, that's actually not only beaten them, but beaten yeah. them pretty soundly in both games. Yes, with ease. And yeah. they've scored, I think, 11 goals in the two games yeah. against them. That's, wow. Um, you know, it, it, I think back to that first game of the season, and everybody kind of left the building going, oh, boy, it's, yeah, it's going to be, be a hard go long here. Long season. It's going to be another one. And maybe even after that game in Boston, you're like, yeah, maybe this team's, maybe it's just not right for this team. And now I think you think of the team a little bit differently. I think if you're John Tortorella, if you're the Blue Jackets, you love that it's Boston on the other side of the yep. break because there's going to be a bit of an emo emotional attachment yep. to that game. Sometimes those are hard games to play yep. for both teams. It's home, so that helps. This building was good, really good again tonight. Yep. Sold out, second yep. straight night is sold out. And you get you get a sense that this building is about ready to lift them a little bit now yep. as, as well, which is a good sign. All right. I uh, hope everyone has a, a great holiday season, a uh, great Christmas. And Aaron, Merry Christmas. We will, we will see you guys uh, on the other side of the break uh, Tuesday night here at the arena.